All right, now we're gonna take a look at the front squat. So there's a host of different squats out there. Each has an appropriate name. The front squat entails that you're actually carrying the weight on the front of your body as opposed to the back squat, which has it on the back. Maria, my lovely assistant, is gonna demonstrate uh, the front squat. So go ahead, Maria, let's just take a look at it first, and then we'll go into details. All squats, regardless of the name, only become legit once the hip drops lower than the knee. Let's stop there, Maria. Rack it, please. All right, awesome. So uh, there you go. There's a quick look at what is the front squat. So what exactly is going on here? Uh, without taking the bar right away, uh, Maria is going to uh, first uh, get the bar. So when she walks into the bar, what she's looking to do is create a non-existent shelf. No bar, just back up. All right, so she's gonna create a non-existent shelf. And how she's gonna do that is the bar's gonna be resting here and she's gonna lift her elbows up and the weight's gonna actually rest on her shoulders. So yeah, it looks like her hands are holding the bar, but actually go get the bar and let's demonstrate this if you don't mind. So it looks like it's her hands holding the bar, but just to show you that this is now skeletal, stay right there and take your hands out and extend your hands fully forward so people know there's no magic involved. All right, so that's showing you that the weight is actually resting on her skeletal frame. Go ahead, walk forward. Okay, so that becomes key for you to understand. Use the skeletal frame. Don't just depend on the muscular system for this one. Okay, so once you walk in and you create this shelf, you need to appreciate the importance of maintaining that shelf the whole time you travel because the most common mistake we see people doing is as they drop, they allow their elbows to drop as well and clearly you can see the ramp I've just created to allow the bar to slip off, which means now I'm gonna have to use even more muscle just to maintain it up there. So two key factors we're looking for here is one is to maintain uh, no bar, one is gonna be to maintain uh, as upright as possible a torso, open your feet up, 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 okay, and go into a squat is to maintain a torso as upright as possible. Go ahead, down. And keep the elbows up the whole time. All right, so let's go get the bar and take a look at this as it ought to be. Make sure your thumbs are completely wrapped around the bar when you're holding it. You're gonna have it rest on your shoulders, elbows come up, and when I say up, ideally parallel with the floor. Your foot stance will be wider than your hip, and you'll also rotate your toes slightly to the outside. Now that being said, you want to suck in some air before you start. The goal is drop your hip below your knees. All the weight, or predominantly all the weight, sitting on the heels. Beautiful. Now initiating the upward movement on this is going to be the elbows. So the first thing Maria is doing, uh, you'll see right here, is when she's right here, stop is as she's about to come up, she's gonna lift, yeah, beautiful. It's the elbows that actually initiate the upward movement. Give me two more repetitions, please. So elbows initiate the movement coming up, and just maintain an upright, uh, stop right there, upright torso. Walk it in, rack it. Awesome. That's your front squat. 